pizza. You ready for your pizza? You ready? You're at the takeout window, you're all set. Awesome! Extra, extra good. Look at them. Ugh. Here's more cheese for all. Wow! East Village Pizza, located on 1st Avenue at 9th Street, was founded by brothers Frank and Mel, who emigrated from Turkey. Mel is a Mediterranean chef who likes to cook Mediterranean-Italian fusion dishes, and Frank is a pizza chef who loves creating new specialty pizzas and inventive toppings for their pizzeria. We really love their pizza and always enjoy their great hand-painted windows celebrating different events and holidays. Look at this New York City pizza rat. He's great. Our dog Hudson loves Eats Village Pizza's walk-up window. Being a local resident, Hudson's always treated to a few slices of pepperoni. Oh, we got it! Good morning! Okay, want another one? Oh, that's good. Okay, We're going to meet with one of the brothers, Frank, a.k.a. Pizza G, who is going to talk about his fascinating history and this pizzeria. And I have been making pizza the last 22 years. And since 2003, I'm owning and operating this East Village Pizza. Uh, I would say it's a family business. I do this with my brother. In this store, at 1997, big, uh, like beginning of 1998, I worked here six months as a delivery guy and a dishwasher and a mopping floor. I got fired from this place. And after 20, after like uh, 19, five, six years, yeah. I came back and bought the store. Fuck. Yeah, that's the, I, the, my first job was here. That's why I didn't want to tell you that first, but now I'm telling you, it's okay. I, I worked here as a delivery guy and I got fired. It wasn't my fault. He knew that I was a hard worker, but he got a situation, so he has to fire me, but I come back and bought the store. We visited the pizzeria on Monday, March 16th, as the city was instituting new shelter-in-place restrictions. Restaurants were in the process of transitioning to only takeaway and delivery. After this evening, there was no more pizza dining in allowed at the pizzeria. Because the pizzeria wasn't crowded with diners eating, we had a chance to speak with Frank about how he got into the pizza business. Uh, the, for my first job was, not first job, but let's say the second job, uh, I worked in a pizzeria on McDougal Street. I, when I walked into the pizzeria and asked for a job, I was looking for desperately for a job. I was looking for any job. I didn't specifically go to a pizzeria. I just take my chance. I asked him, I still remember him, I want to pray for John. He isn't back in Italy, but I hope he's okay. I don't know where he is. Uh, now I asked him I need a job and he told me okay I need somebody come to work but I didn't understand because my English was not that enough this, I when you came from there. Turkey yeah and uh, I didn't really understand that he hired me and grabbed me and back to the counter he gave me an apron he was okay then I understand I got hired I started working but I took it from there I worked hard like a horse uh, five hours school 12 hours work in a pizzeria. I was doing like the, uh, the uh, you know, the map this and that. Yeah, you know, when you're hired, you don't really make pizza at the first day. Frank makes many great pizza pies with interesting toppings, so we asked him what some of his favorites are. Margarita is the one that I always say is my favorite. Margarita pizza is definitely my favorite. I work on that pizza more than two years and I changed like 15 different kinds of cheese. But I use this, I use that, but it didn't happen. The olive oil that I changed a lot because I use 100% extra virgin cocoa's olive oil. Uh, but the margarita pizza, I would say, everybody has to try. If you don't like it, come slap me. That's what I would say. Now we're gonna watch as they make a margarita pie. Okay, okay here we go from start to finish, right? Okay.
So you use two different kinds of cheese? Yes. What what are these cubes? This That's one? cubes. It's uh, fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Yeah. Margarita sauce and mozzarella. Regular mozzarella. Regular mozzarella. Okay, we'll get it going in. Hold on, we'll get it. There we go. Here's the finished pie. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ah, oh, look at that margarita pie. Look at that fresh basil. Extra virgin olive oil, right? Yes, cold pressed. Cold pressed. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So, now we have to give this one a try. Here we go. Mm. Oh, so flavorful. The blend of cheeses, the tanginess, and like it's like a tangy and a little bit of sweet, but tangy sauce and the fresh basil's coming through, the parmesan on top, I can really taste, and beautiful crust again, airy, and look at the undercarriage as we'll call it. <sighs> awesome, extra, extra good. While we were inside feasting on pizza, Hudson was waiting patiently outside at the takeout window for some of his own pizza. Patiently? Yeah. For those who've been following us, we always like to try a regular cheese pizza slice. You can check out some of our other pizza videos here. This pizza is for the house. Ah, oh, beautiful. I have, like, my cheese pizza is really good. The like, regular classic New York style cheese pizza is really good. Ah, oh, beautiful. We can't argue with that. The classic cheese New York style pizza looks amazing here. Two years ago, I invented the uh, the cheese and garlic nuts. Have you seen the cheese and garlic nuts on Instagram? No, no. You should definitely. You know what? Uh, George, I need one cheese and garlic nuts with that pizza. All right. I photographed the regular garlic nuts. I'll, I'll do the cheese and garlic nuts. Don't worry, we have time. Uh -huh. The cheese and garlic nuts that I invented about a year and a half ago, I would say two years ago, before, what I was selling is garlic nuts with cheese, right? It was just a little cheese on top of it. But one day I was like, what happens if you put like a bunch of cheese on the garlic nuts and make a cheesy garlic nut? And it just blows up. Now, uh, believe it or not, people are coming from all around the world for that cheesy garlic nut, and that's the most selling stuff right now here. Wow. A lot. Here are their regular garlic knots, but as Frank insisted, we're going to try their famous cheesy garlic knots. Cheesy garlic knots. Now what I will do, I will do the cheese food and okay. we'll see what I mean. Ready? Ready. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god, look at it go. So we got this garlic. Here's more cheese for all. Wow. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh man. Extra good. That is so amazing. Look at that. Garlic nut. So much cheese. Extra good. We are going to watch another great pizza being made. Oh, 
look at that one before it goes in. All right. Beautiful. And it goes. Although the pie with mushrooms, broccoli, and meatballs on top that we watched being made looked amazing, Frank really wanted us to have his popular pepperoni pizza. Oh, this one's all done now? Oh, yeah, let's get, let's get that. Look at it all sizzling. Wow. Oh, perfect. Red. Okay. All right. I'm going to slice this for you. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Looks amazing. Wow, look at that. Look at that, you can see the Rani cups. Look at them. Extra good. Uh oh, wait, one's fallen. Let's get it in there. So now let's give it a let's give it a shot before all the Rani cups come off. Alright. Don't cut give it to Patrona. Put everything but don't slice it, please. Mm. Extra good, so good. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Beautiful cross look, no flop. I'll even show you, hold on, as I can. The underside, that's important too, nice crust. Amazing. Oh, that's good enough, that's good. Just put the cheese on the... Uh, uh, beginning of, to, uh, beginning of like, Let's say May 2019, I got the uh, double stack pizza and uh, the original one is like buffalo chicken inside, pepperoni on top, but I can make anything out of it. That blows up. That pizza was actually on the Wendy Williams show with the food, trending food with the food guard. So now people are coming for the double stack pizza a lot again all over the world, like other states. And I never get a bad compliment about it's it's for me. Feedbacks are so important. I always talk with the people, like when people order double steak pizza, I take to them table and I slice them and I'm here, if I'm here. If I'm not here, it's their chance. So I never get a bad feedback so far for the double steak pizza and cheese and garlic now. I would say those are the most popular thing. The trending thing, I mean, popular is too maybe a way because margarita is really good here, but it's trending stuff that people really like to order the double steak pizza. They want to try, especially for for the world travelers that they see uh, me that posting it on Instagram. I use my Instagram a lot. I use it so actively, like I'm live right now here. I use it like every day. My secret time on Instagram probably like 13 hours right now, every day. I try to reach the people, what I make. And I started using Instagram in 2012. When I was using Instagram and posting pizza picture on Instagram, people were laughing at me like, what are you doing? Why are you posting pizza picture on Instagram? But nowadays we see that I did something right. Do I know what's gonna happen? I did not know that <laughs> time. I just did something. Like that's what I always say, as a business owner, you have to work on your stuff. Like you have to do something. Don't spend your time thinking about other businesses. Like what is he doing? What is he doing? Or oh, is he making business? Go what? On my world, I got three kids. I never watch any business around me. I see them, but I don't watch them. I don't spend time on them. I take my time, I come here. I don't have to make pizza, but I still come here and make pizza. Four days a night, I make live stream making pizza here on Instagram. So people see me making pizza. In the meantime, I play with my dough. I play with my pizza, I play it around, I play with my sauce. If I, some, if I see something better, I definitely do it. So it's, it's my life, pizza. Making pizza, baking pizza. And that's what I call myself, making and baking pizza. emergency you've got to do takeaway now so here we go we got our pies and our cheesy cheesy garlic knots so let's go home and eat it 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give it a thumbs up and share our video if you liked it. You may also enjoy watching some of our other videos highlighting unique small businesses in New York City, including lots of food spots who are struggling now in this strange and difficult time due to the state of emergency in New York. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. And be safe and order online for delivery if you can.